Thank you and welcome to my channel, Simply Your World, where we discuss past and present events that will affect you if they haven't already. And tonight I got a question. What does the Jewish tradition of bris malah and STDs have in common? First, bris malah is what the Christians call circumcision. During this process you have something called metzitza bipe, which only means oral suction. It's worthy to note that this step is not found nowhere in the Jewish Bible or the Jewish Talmud. So basically it's a tradition to put your mouth on the baby's dick, basically sucking baby dick. It's, it's crazy. Anyway, I read an article that was more recent, but when I look for a news report or a video, I really couldn't find anything but from 2011, which lets me know this has been going on for a long time. Check this out, then I'll be right back. The bris is one of the first religious rites for their baby boys, a circumcision. But there's one kind of bris in ultra-Orthodox communities that's causing some alarm. It's not healthy. I mean, nowhere it's written you have to uh, that kind of procedure. The practice is called masitza bape, where a moil uses his mouth to suck blood away from the baby boy's genitals after circumcision. Problem is, the Centers for Disease Control released a recent study showing 11 New York City babies got herpes after this kind of bris between 2000 and 2011. Two died and two suffered brain damage. This Brooklyn man with 50 grandchildren is still not concerned. But you can't change the tradition that we have for thousands and thousands of years because something happened. Do you think that Moyle should be tested for herpes before they perform that bris? I'm not a rabbi, I can't answer you that question. Last September, a Brooklyn boy who was only two weeks old died here at Maimonides Medical Center just a few days after he underwent the circumcision ritual. The medical examiner later ruled that he died of herpes simplex virus type 1. And just last week, an Orange County baby was diagnosed with herpes and transferred to New York Presbyterian Hospital. It's not a subject most in the ultra-Orthodox communities want to talk about. You know how they do a bris when a little boy no, is... Sorry, no. You can't talk about the bris? No, I don't know how to do it. One moil named Yitchak Fisher was banned by the state health department in 2007 after he was linked to three herpes infections, including that in a twin boy who died. A concerned Orthodox community member claims he's still doing bris and says she recorded him on the phone earlier this year. Ultra-Orthodox rabbis are said to be resisting a city proposal that parents sign a waiver before their infants get the oral suction bris. The worried community member recorded another moil who claims this is how he sterilizes. What I do usually is I pour wine on it. I use strong wine. Wine is alcoholic. Unfortunately, that's not enough to kill the herpes virus, which is carried by 54% of all people in the U.S. and can be fatal to a baby with an underdeveloped immune system. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News. Okay, so with so many diseases that can be passed through all sex, you would have to think that for centuries, babies have died from various ailments due to this tradition especially at a time when medicine was not as advanced as it is now. In 2019, they were still looking at a way to not stop, but only find a way to do this practice more safely. Until this day, there are no regulations on this old tradition. Now check this out. Now this is to me the most fucked up part about the whole situation. It seems clear from the Talmud that the Mazitza is not necessarily part of the actual bris malah, again remaining circumcision. Rather, it is performed to, to prevent any future hazard to the child after circumcision. So they say that the practice is to prevent any future complications. With this being 2023, and this has been going on since the second century, how much further in a century, I mean in the future, do we have to go to realize this bullshit needs to stop? But that's what they want to do with their traditions. They keep everything else secret, so keep it to yourself and I guess keep dying. Other than that, I'll see y'all later.